Hi, I'm Charles, and welcome to part 20 of the OpenSCAD video series. In this part, we're going to be talking about importing and exporting STL and DXF type files. So let's get started. So one of the major things that OpenSCAD can do is export STL files. And STL files are very useful because uh, they're the basis for 3D printing. Um, most, if not all, software that's used to convert uh, 3D models to printable files or printable, ob yeah, printable files, uh, and that's used to slice them, takes STLs. So an ST the STL is a very important file type format. So we're going to start um, by creating an STL. Um, so let's um, create a cube. Uh, so I'm just going to create this object. This might take a moment. And um, maybe So I'm just using techniques with the, that we've learned to just build up an object. So let's say this is our STL. Maybe we want this shape for something, or rather or not. So what we have to do uh, is we have to build it. We have to we have to render it. So for that we press F6, and because it's such a small model, it took a very short time. So now what we do is we export it. So we go to File. Uh, export and export as STL. And I'm just going to go up one, go to exports. So, uh, part 20, shape one dot STL. So, uh, you click save and you have to wait just it's important to know that you have to wait. It doesn't take very long because it was a small file, but if it's a bigger file, it might take a moment for it to say XP STL export finished. Uh, and you want to wait for that before you exit your program because if you exit before your program before the STL export has finished, then you might corrupt your file. And then you'd have to render it all over again, which could be a huge pain. Uh, so that's just a small tip. So uh, we've made this object, and now I'm going to comment it out going to show how to import it again. So now we have nothing uh, because this is all commented out. So I'm going to show the import command. So essentially all it is is import. And this is going to work for both file types, but we're just working with the STL file type right now. Uh, so we have import, parentheses, semicolon, and then we have quotation marks. So they're double quotes and not, not single quotes like that. So double quotes. Um, 
And so what we need is we need, uh, you could do this one of two different ways. If this, if your file part 20 is in the same directory as the file you're trying to get to, then you can just import the name of the file. So it would be part 20 shape, shape one dot STL. And you could do that. Uh, it's important to note that if you want this to happen, then what you essentially have to do is go into your file system and open part 20 from uh, wherever you click on it in your file system. Cause sometimes it can be just a little bit buggy, even if they're in the same directory, but maybe you open the file in a different place. So something that I like to use, uh, using what's called the direct path, which is essentially where you take, uh, you go start from the top of your file system and you go, uh, down to your, to your file. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to get rid of this. So, um, so we can see, uh, our part 20 shape one STL is here. So we go down to properties and we can see this whole path here. This is the location. Uh, it might say path location. It depends, but essentially this thing, this long set of words, numbers that essentially describe where the file is located. So we'll go ahead and copy and paste this. Copy and paste. It's there. Uh, now we need the name. So now we add another slash and paste the name. Now, uh, I'm in Linux. I'm running Linux, Ubuntu. Uh, so I don't need to change the direction of these slashes. But if you're in Windows, uh, they might be the other way, like that. And if they're like this, um, it might not, uh, it might not open the file. It might not open SCAP might not understand the path just because, uh, it doesn't understand slashes that go that way. So you might have to go through the path and change all the slashes to face the other direction. But that's, it's essentially the same thing. You just copy and paste the path and then you copy and paste, uh, the name of your file. See, I don't think I can get the whole thing, but the name of your file. So you add a slash and you copy and paste the name of your file. Um, so there are two types of STLs. There's binary and uh, ASCII. I'm not sure which one this is, uh, but you can have STL in capital or you can have STL. But this one is the, the lowercase STL. So just leave it as it is. So... Now that we have this imp our import function uh, ready to go, we just press F5 or F6. And there we go, we've imported it. And notice that it's an import because the inside here is uh, it's not green. So you can modify it, you can, uh, you can rotate it, uh, you can translate it. So yeah, you can do modifications to it. Um, Basic modifications are probably the best uh, because some of the more complicated ones, maybe an intersection or a difference, can get really buggy and really hard to uh, actually use. So that's just something to keep in mind. A lot of the time you want to modify your fo file before you get it out, of before you export it, because um, it can be a lot of trouble if you have to import it and then modify it again. Um, yeah, that's just a note. Um, Okay, so next we are going to uh, create and import a DXF file. Now the DXF, uh, if you remember, we talked about 2D files. Um, those are essentially the exports of the 2D files. So uh, let's create a circle.
So um, I'll just make a few of these. So we have three of those now. Let me clean this up. And I will haul them because you can haul in two dimensions 2D as well. Okay, so now we have this shape uh, and it's a 2D file. So what we want to do with it, if we wanted to bring it out and use it again, we will go to file. And remember, you have to press F6 as well for the 2D files. Uh, you can't just use F5. And then we go to export as DXF. We'll go back up to exports, part 20, uh, we'll say 2D shape, and save it. So now we're going to do the same thing. Um, as the uh, as the STL so now it's gone and we can see our DXF has now appeared so we go to properties uh, copy and paste it well we use import it's the same command import Uh, double quotes, exports, we have to add the slash, don't forget, and copy and paste the file name, or just type it in, if you know. And F5, F6, and there's, there's our file. So as you can see, everything else is commented out, so the only thing that can be generating the file um, is this, is the import statement. So yeah, that's um, that's mostly it for importing and exporting STLs and DXFs. You can work with them as well. You can translate, rotate this. Just show quickly. There you go. And now you know. Now you, now you know how to do that. So that's good. That's, I think that's it. So thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.